Hi, I'm Jen Hand, your food coach for helping you end your battle with eating. So, what do you do if you're bored, but you know you don't want to eat and you're resisting, you're struggling, you're like, I'm bored, but I don't want to eat. I don't know what else to do. That's what I usually do. What do you do? So that's what I want to talk about today because I get emails and questions about this all the time. But what do I do if I'm bored? I don't want to eat. I know I'm bored, but I don't know what else to do. So in this video, I wanted to give you two tips to take with you, experiment, try, and report back in the comments below. So a lot of times with emotions, loneliness, sadness, anger, stress, overwhelm, boredom, we resist it, we fight it, we don't wanna feel it, we think we shouldn't feel it, we criticize ourselves. And in that space, we create this whole other level of resistance. So it's not only the boredom that we feel, but we're fighting the boredom, we think we shouldn't be bored, we think we shouldn't be overwhelmed, stressed, whatever. And then we have the feeling, and then the thinking that we shouldn't feel the feeling, and the judgment of the thinking that we shouldn't feel the feeling of the feeling. You follow me there? So a lot of times we add this double layer of judgment and criticism on what we're feeling instead of just giving ourselves space to feel it. So this is an incredible opportunity to experience that. And I love thinking of times that you want to eat as great learning experiences. What can I learn right now from this experience to help me in the future? So when you're bored, lean into that feeling. That's the first tip. My mom used to say when we were growing up and my siblings and I would complain to her all summer long, we're bored, we're bored, we have nothing to do. And she would always say, boredom builds character. And it was a great example for me because I take that now as an adult and think, so what if you're bored? You don't have to be busy every single moment of your entire life. You, you are allowed to be bored. You're allowed to not have something to do. You're allowed to be like, you know, tonight I am just feeling super bored. So giving yourself the chance to be bored and getting curious about it. So what would that be like? You know, bringing out your journal or calling a friend or writing about it, talking about it and saying, here's what being bored felt like. And getting in that mindset of, of seeing it as like an experiment of, okay, I'm bored. I know I don't want to eat. Let's look at it. What does it feel like something in my body? Is there a sensation? Is there a pull that I feel, a tightness that I feel? Is my mind going a million miles an hour? Do I see judgment? Do I see criticism of myself? So allowing yourself to be in this space where you're just being bored, what is it like? Because so many times what we do with an emotion is that we don't ever feel it. So we resist it and then we end up eating and we never feel the actual emotion. And so we get mad at ourselves for eating instead of giving ourselves that the chance to feel the emotion and see what that is like. So lean into it. And that's one of the biggest, most important pieces on this path with any emotion, but boredom especially, because it's an easier emotion to lean into because it's not as intense as say anger or fear or sadness or grief. So if you can, be in the space of boredom. Wow, that's powerful. And that'll help you be in the space of other emotions. So leaning in, don't fight it, don't resist it. Allow yourself to experience what it feels like to be bored. Revolutionary, right? Because you wanna escape it. It's like, I hate being bored. I don't want this, I don't want this experience. And we flip the script to say, hey, what would it feel like to just be bored right now? Not know what to do. So the second piece of this is, something I call distraction and permission. So if you're still having that like niggling feeling of like, I'm really bored, I wanna eat, giving yourself full permission to say, I'm gonna distract myself for let's say 15 to 20 minutes. And if I still want the cookie, the bowl of ice cream, the whatever, I am gonna give myself full permission to sit down without the guilt and absolutely enjoy whatever it is that I want. So let's say, it's Sunday and you just have nothing all day and you are just bored. You don't know what to do with yourself. You're kind of antsy. You're kind of like, oh, I'm just feeling unsettled. And so you're on your couch and you say, okay, I'm gonna give myself 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna go for a walk around the block. I'm gonna call a friend. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom. I'm going to read two chapters of a book. And then if I still want the thing that I want, I'm gonna make an event out of it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna put it on a plate. I'm gonna sit down. Experience it, savor it, eat it, enjoy it. 
and give myself full permission without guilt. Because what happens then, a lot of times with that distraction, you won't want the food anymore. Or when you give yourself that full permission, you won't eat all of it or one will be satisfying. So I'd love to hear from you what you can take away from this video, incorporate it into your own life the next time you get bored. Share in the comments below and I'd love to hear any other tips that you have of things that you do to not eat when you're bored.